Hey guys, Dr. Brown here, and tonight it's fourth through sixth grade international division practice problem. So let's get after it here. This will help you for the international contest. All right, so we have 6BA0. I have a line thrown through all the zeros so you'll know it's not a O since we have letters in here. Okay, we have 6BA0 divided by 2A. And the results of that is 2B0. Whoa. Okay. The best way to handle these type of problems is just start. Just start. That sounds silly, but that's the way you solve it. Just begin the process. You know how to divide, and you know how to divide two-digit numbers. So let's work on that. Okay, I have 2 times A gives me 0. 2 times 2 gives me A. Okay, now if we were working this problem, what would we do now? B minus 0 equals B. Well, that makes sense. 6 minus A equals 1. 6 minus A equals 1. That's something we need to keep up with. That would indicate that, well, 6 minus 5 equals 1. It makes you think that A equals 5. It makes you think that, but let's keep going. Okay, we, we ended up with 1B. We would bring down the A. Now, 1BA, I have B times 2A. We think A is 5, so this look, we think it's a, tw a 25. B times 2A gives me 1B5. Okay, what would we do now? We would subtract. A minus 5 equals 0. A minus 5 equals 0. Now we're just subtracting a digit at a time. Well, 5 minus 5 equals 0, so we've confirmed that A is in fact 5. Now then, everywhere there's an A, I'm going to put a 5. So we'll just clean this up just a little bit. Oh, there's one. Okay. Now then, we have B times 25 has to equal a three-digit number. And the last digit is odd. Let's think about that. B times 25. B times 25 equals a three-digit number. Well, this digit is 1. This digit is B. And this digit is 5. 1B5. Well, can this, and this number has to be a multiple of 25. You've learned about multiples. 25 times 1 is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. 25 times C, 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 25 is 75. 4 times uh, 25 is 100. Okay, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 25. You'll notice anywhere there's an even number, I have a zero on the end. So that means all the even numbers will not give me an odd number on the end. And you've learned this already when you multiply even and odd numbers. So that means my B needs to be an odd number. 
And it also needs to be a number that when I multiply times 25, it gives me a number greater uh, than, than 100. Now, a person could say, well, wait, wait just a minute. What if B is zero? One, zero, five. Well, zero times 25 does not give me a three-digit number. <laughs> it gives me zero, okay? It gives me just a big zero. So that's out. Okay, so we could say it's five. It can't be six. It could be seven, or it could be nine. So five times 25 is 125. So now we have, if it were six times 25, that would be 150. Seven times um, 25 is 175, I think. Uh, 25, let's just challenge ourselves here, times seven. Seven times five is 35. Carry the three, seven times two is 14, 15, 16, 17. 175. Now you'll notice this is B. Let me clean this up just a minute. B times 25 equals 1B5. 7 times 25 equals 175. That number is B, so is that number. Okay, so now we've, we can show that B is 7. Okay. Seven, 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 and we're going to multiply all of this out and see if it works. Okay, now then, two times twenty-five is fifty. Sixty. Well, seven minus zero is seven. Six minus five is one. Bring down the five. Okay, seven times twenty-five. We just worked that was one seventy-five. So that's 175. 175 minus 175 is zero. I still have this zero, carry it to the top. So 6750 divided by 25 is 270. So A is what? A equals five, B equals seven. Why are we doing this? We're trying to expand our mind, and together we're going to build a better tomorrow through math. Keep studying, guys. That's all for now. Talk to you next time. Thanks.